Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Well, long time no see, huh folks? Well, actually, I guess it's only been about a week since my last video, but a lot has happened in that week, and a lot is gonna happen over the next week, so I wanted to go ahead and do this little catching up sort of vlog thing. So without a doubt, the biggest thing in the world of gaming that has happened in the last week is the Steam Summer Sale. We are balls deep in it right now, all the way up to the hilt in the Steam Summer Sale, in its warm and juicy innards. Oh, all up in it, loving it. I have made a lot of small purchases. I've kind of been restrained. I already own a lot of the games, actually. But I've made one major purchase, and that is this. Saints Row the Third. Look at me. Look at me and my homies in our pimp-ass golf cart. Oh, you gotta love that. Gold rims, big old tires, purple paint job. Oh, it is just fantastic. Golf clubs in the back, of course, if we want to play around. Between murder and fools, right? Right? You have to have your priorities straight. So I'm loving the hell out of this game. I've actually been playing Saints Row 2 on PlayStation 3, of, of all things. Yes, a console. Uh, I did subscribe to PlayStation Plus. I'm writing a little article right now for the website about PlayStation Plus and why I chose to subscribe to it. But Saints Row 2 was one of the games that was free as part of the current PlayStation Plus promotion. So I've been playing Saints Row uh, 2, and I'm really enjoying it. And when Saints Row the Third came up on a really nice sale, 75% off, I could not resist. I picked it up. This game is absolutely stupid. And stupid in the best possible way. It is everything I want from a triple-A game. It has got over-the-top storylines. It has got crazy characters. It has got insane action. It is a summer blockbuster made into a video game. And it really, really satisfies everything that you want from those large-budget games. This is the sort of game that can only be made by a major studio with major backing. And this is the sort of stuff that they need to be concentrating on when they are making games. Do these big, huge things that smaller companies just can't do. You know, small companies can tell stories really well. They can compel you with interesting visuals and, and interesting gameplay mechanics. But you absolutely have to have the backing of a major studio to make a boner-inducing game like Saints Row the Third. This game is getting my highest recommendation. Not since Space Marine have I recommended a game more than this. I'm very picky about buying major titles, and when I do, I try to make a very educated choice, and definitely Saints Row the Third is getting a giant thumbs up from me. Fantastic choice. I bought all the DLC as well. Uh, really ended up spending about 25 bucks on this game. That is not something that I do. I would normally rather get five indies than one AAA game for 25 bucks. But this was definitely a smart move. Loving the game. Absolutely loving it. You'll see some action from that game on your screen for the rest of the video. So if any of you guys follow me on Twitter or whatnot, you may know that it's a bit of a sad time here in Big Dave land because I've sent my wife and son off to Chicago for two weeks. And honestly, it's kind of hard. It's, it's really difficult. You don't understand, I guess, when you're younger... Uh, how much you change when you have a family. I mean, you know, if you, you have a family that you really love and you're really dedicated to, it changes you in, in, in ways that that I can't even describe. And and I never really understood the, the love that my mother had for me and the, and the devotion that she had for me wanting the best and, and, and doing all the things that she did to make sure that I had the best uh, that she could possibly offer until I had my, my son. And it's it's an amazing thing. To, uh, to have a child and to, to understand what that means. And you can't really verbalize what that means, but when you have one, you, you kind of know, know. Those of you out there with kids, I mean, you, you understand that the, the absolute mind-blowing experience that it is having one and, and being away from him for, for two weeks is so, uh, so tough. It's only been a few days now, but uh, that first day when I came back from, from dropping him off at the airport, uh, that I was wiped I was really emotionally drained, so it's it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks. I have some time off scattered in there. Uh, I'm not going to make any promises about what I'm going to do with the time off in terms of video content. Uh, I will say that a pie-in-the-sky idea would be that I put out a video every day uh, for a week. I, I will have some time off between uh, Wednesday and uh, Wednesday, so basically I will have Wednesday to Wednesday off uh, from work. So, you know, in, in a pie-in-the-sky kind of world, I would say... 
uh, well, I'm going to put out a video every week, and it's going to be great, and it's going to drive my subscription numbers up and my views up, and I'm going to become YouTube famous, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, that's not going to be my priority. My priority is going to be enjoying myself and playing games, and if that translates into making videos, super thumbs up. So all I'm going to promise you is the normal content you would get on a regular week here at Big Dave is Cheap. So that's a couple of videos and a free-to-play Friday. That's pretty much what I'm going to offer you, and maybe you'll get a sweet, sweet bonus on top of that. So yeah, basically I'm being super stingy with my time off, I'm hoarding it all for myself, but I want to make sure that I make good use of it. And so, to that end, I want to sort of make a list of some things that I'm going to do, a public list that I can keep up to date and uh, let you guys know, here's some things I'm going to do, and then when I do them, we can all cheer me and my awesomeness for having done fun things on my vacation. Yeah. Because last time I had a vacation like this, I mostly sat on my ass and watched... Uh, Enterprise. I watched the entire run of Enterprise start to finish. It was like 120 or 30 something episodes start to finish in like a week and a half. I was watching like 10 episodes a day of Enterprise and it was really, really sad. I, I did find, uh, I picked a vacation show for this vacation as well. Uh, I'm watching Flashpoint. If you've ever heard of Flashpoint, I'd never really heard of it. I've heard Day 9 talk about it. I've heard a few other people talk about it. It seemed cool. I've been watching it. It's pretty interesting. I, I do enjoy it so far. I'm about five or six episodes in. And, uh, yeah, thumbs up, you know? It's not too bad. I was going to try to watch Fringe, which I've heard good things about, but it doesn't appear to be on Netflix, so whatever. I'm watching Flashpoint. So, let's get to that list, shall we? In no particular order, number one, Play Braid. I've been watching Indie Game the Movie. In fact, I've watched it about three times and uh, twice with the team meet commentary. Those guys are hilarious, right? And it reminded me that I never finished Braid, because Jonathan Blow, the, the creator of Braid, is, is sort of in the movie, uh, and, and he's a uh, freaky weird kind of guy, but he's my, my freaky weird kind of guy. Like, he's kind of a, this cool, really intellectual, contemplative sort of guy, and and he's an interesting cat, and I really want to play that game. I've started Braid several times over, over the last year and a half or so, a year or so, and I've never managed to finish it. I'll get into it, maybe get 30 minutes into it, I'll stop playing for whatever reason, and then I'll never come back to it. And then when I come back to it a few months later, I want to start from the beginning. It's just been... It's been weird. And for some reason, I've had this odd relationship with this game where I just can't sit down and play it. So that's one of the things I'm going to do. Play Braid, start to finish, during my vacation. Number B. I am going to write an article for the website. So it might be the article about PlayStation Plus, or it could be something else. I'm really interested in doing written reviews of games that don't translate well into videos. Games like Bastion, or a game that I'm actually playing recently, uh, Botanicula, from that uh, Humble Bundle a few months ago. Really interested in the idea of doing that, in actually adding another dimension to my repertoire. You know, right now I do this first impression, sort of quick look, WT, uh, WTF is sort of ripoff. Uh, that I do, but this is something that I want to kind of add. I want to improve my voice, I want to improve myself as a writer. I mean my, when I say my voice, I mean my written voice, not my voice voice. Uh, so, you know, it's something that I want to do, it's something that I find interesting, so that's something that I want to do. Either I'll flesh out and finish my PlayStation Plus article, or I will write a review maybe of Botanicula or Bastion, which I am just finishing Bastion for the second time. Uh, I played, I just started spontaneously playing Bastion, uh, like, I watched an interview with Logan Cunningham, the guy who does the voice of, uh, of the narrator, and uh, it just made me want to play the game again, so I started playing it, and I'm all the way up to the end again, so I might finish that for a second time and write a review on Bastion. I don't know. Something. I'll pick something interesting to, uh, to write about. Um, no guarantees, again, of what's going to happen, but uh, that's one of the things on my list. Write an article for the website, because it has been definitely neglected over the last month or so. All right, number three. I want to play at least 10 games on Steam. Any games. 10 games. I have over 100 games that I've never even played on my Steam account, and I want to play 10 of them. I want, I want to improve my played percentage by 10%. I want to play at least 10 games... Uh, by the end of this vacation, and that's anything. It doesn't matter if it's a small game, a big game, whatever. I want to play 10 games on Steam. 
And finally, number the last, I want to make some progress on my do something creative New Year's resolution. Now, for those of you who weren't here for that resolution, basically what I said was, uh, this year I want to create something. And what I chose to create was an animated short, which was plain and simple stupid, because I don't know how to animate anything. So I've been kind of trying to learn some animation programs. I've been working a little bit with Anime Studio and uh, trying to learn some stuff in Flash, and it's really not working. But I'm still going to stick with it. Even if it takes two or three years to live up to, to this resolution, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with it. Uh, but what I did realize is I already have the ability and the knowledge to do stuff. Uh, I can write it, for instance. Uh, I can also record the voices and record all the voice acting. Uh, and and that's, uh, that's actually thanks to Mr. Light Jimmy, who reminded me of that in a video over on his channel. Uh, you know, he was talking about watching some League of Legends voice actors kind of talking about what they do, and he thought it might be a cool thing to do, and remembered that I had mentioned my project and said, hey, I'm available. As some of you have also said that, so uh, watch out, you might be getting tapped on the virtual shoulder to do some voice acting in the next uh, three or four months. But uh, basically, during my time off, uh, the, the actual thing that's going on my list is to finish fleshing out my character designs uh, both on the page and in written form and in visual form. So to finish the uh, the actual character design and to finish writing them and fleshing them out as characters with their bios and, and their histories and, and everything. So get that sort of character design out of the way. Uh, I want to start writing. I want to be done. I want to sort of have a basic script, a uh, first draft, so to speak, uh, by the fall. And at that point, I can start, you know, offering out roles to people or, uh, or looking for folks who might want to record some lines and, uh, and you know, just really kind of put it out there and, and let people sort of read bits and pieces of it and uh, start refining it as a creative uh, exercise. So it's really, really, uh, it's really, really exciting to sort of be reinvigorated. And I have been over the last month or so when I'm at work and I have some downtime, I've been sketching, uh, sketching character designs. And uh, it's, it's really sort of starting to come together. It's kind of, I would saying that it's coming together is strong, uh, strong word usage. Let's say that I can see the very beginnings of it coming together, coming together. So it's starting to almost begin to come together in theory. So that's it for me, guys. I'm done. Interesting week and a half or two coming up while my family is away. You might get some bonus content. I will make another video in about a week to update you on the goings on in uh, Big Dave's world. That is, how am I doing on the list and how have I been faring during the Steam sale? I might make something around the 23rd, around the last day of the sale. Uh, to let you guys uh, kind of know my haul, so to speak. So get out there, buy, 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 spend your money, empty your pockets, charge up your credit cards. It is the Steam Summer Sale. This thing only comes around twice a year. Well, the Summer Sale comes around once a year because there's only one summer in a year, if you guys didn't know that. But these big Steam sales only come around twice a year. So blow your wad, as it were, and go out there and get all the games that you want to play and have been waiting to play. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.